Hey ya folks, let's create some interesting percussion using a single oscillator, a maths, and a melodic step sequencer. We will also need a VCA. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the pitch control voltage from our sequencer to represent different types of drum sounds. Uh, instead of having multiple sound sources for kick drum, snare, hi-hat, toms, we're just going to let the pitch from our sequencer determine uh, those sounds or represent them uh, along with some, some modulation of our oscillator. So to get started, let's just treat this like a, a regular synth voice. I'm going to trigger one of these envelopes of the maths with our sequencer. And that envelope is going to control the volume of our oscillator through this VCA. And we also want to run the pitch from our sequencer into the oscillator. Now start the sequencer and give that a listen. And we have a bland melodic sequence. <laughs> so let's get some of the, uh, the percussive stuff happening. We're actually going to use a separate envelope to control the tone of percussion. So we need another instance of our trigger from the sequencer. We'll trigger this separate envelope. This envelope has a much sharper attack and decay. Now if we run this envelope into the pitch modulation of our oscillator, uh, that's what's going to start getting us what we want. So let's turn up the sequence again and introduce the modulation of this envelope. So Right up here, we hit a pretty sweet spot where things start sounding pretty good. But the problem that I have is that there's still too much melodic content in the uh, percussion. Um, and what I'd really like is I'd like the bass tones to be preserved and beefy, and I would like those higher notes that are, you know, kind of representative of snares and toms. I'd like those to be cut shorter so that they're more like percussive blips and less melodic. Uh, and so what, the way we could do that is uh, we can use the envelope, our volume envelope, uh, to control that sound. So with a long envelope we get that melodic content. And if we shorten the envelope we have something pretty good happening. But I'd really like it if the bass was still preserved. It's not quite as beefy here. So... That's where the maths comes in handy, because we can modulate the decay stage of this envelope. And the perfect way to handle this is using the pitch information from our sequencer. Uh, because it's, it's proportional to the sounds that we're getting. Now, let's see what happens if we patch the pitch value from our sequencer directly into the fall uh, modulation input. Now let's turn that up. <laughs> now, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's kind of the opposite of what we want to happen. The kick drums are being cut pretty short and snappy and that the higher notes are still very, you know, that melodic content is still there. So we turn to the uh, attenuverter of the maths, and we just invert the behavior that's happening with the attenuverter. So we'll patch channel two of the maths with the attenuverter uh, into the fall input. And now here's what we had before with, the, uh, with a positive version of the voltage. And now let's invert it and adjust the envelope so we have it somewhere that we like. Yeah, so right around there, that kick drum is still uh, has some 
some nice some nice beefiness to it and those uh those higher values are now much more percussive and much less melodic so i'll add a couple steps to the sequence so we can hear uh like more hi-hats and toms here's the sequence higher pitch values produce something more like hi-hats. The values that are slightly higher than the kick produce more like tom sounds. So it's a pretty interesting sound. It's not your typical 808 style of voices. And because it's in our modular system, you can do all sorts of uh, cool modulation to it to make it even more interesting. Um, one of the things that I really like to do, although I said this was a, a single oscillator only, is um, introducing frequency modulation into your percussive oscillator from another oscillator. Really just creates a sound that I'm rather fond of. So let's patch a triangle from the second oscillator here into the uh, FM input of our oscillator and introduce that modulation. See how that sounds? course modulating the uh, the pitch or the rate of this oscillator produces very cool dynamic stuff happening and uh, another idea for some dynamics is to simply uh, send this envelope that's controlling the tone of our percussion send that into a VCA and then modulate that VCA the, the uh, with a source of your choice and you essentially uh, modulate the intensity of the percussive tone. So if we played this by hand, you get an idea of what that would sound like. So yeah, just a little foundation, a little recipe to get you going. Uh, if you're feeling frustrated, I was uh, I was happy to find this technique because I started when I went early in uh, <laughs> in my modular explorations. I really wanted to create interesting percussion, and I started gathering more voices to do that. And it just wasn't quite doing it for me. It wasn't quite interesting enough. So. It's pretty cool to just get all that out of a single oscillator and uh, hopefully that helps you out if you're feeling stuck in that area and uh, if I can clarify anything for you just let me know in the comments below thank you for watching